night. Ooh, I am low, 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 low. Okay, mejor. First and foremost, I just got done with a doctor's appointment. Shout out to my doctor, Nancy. She was the dopest. I had to go to a lady doctor today. That's always a fun experience. It's interesting. But Nancy was totally cool. I'm a little frazzled right now because I've been wanting to film today all day and I've been so excited to film, but I've kind of been in a rush. So this video is going to come with another apology because damn, am I late on this video. Like hella late. So like you guys remember when I went to BeautyCon? over the summer. <laughs> this video is dedicated to my niece because honestly, I don't think anybody is more annoyed with me that I haven't filmed this video than my niece. Shout out to Honestly Alondra who convinced me to go to the Glossier store while we were in LA. We went for BeautyCon and we went to the Glossier booth, but there wasn't really anything happening at the Glossier booth. So we ended up going to the Glossier store, which is so freaking cute, by the way. Look how cute. Go in, you pick out whatever you want because they just have a bunch of testers on the floor. And then they have this canyon room, which is cool. And and then there's this mirror, totes. So you place your order through an iPad and then they bring out your order with your name in a cute little bag. It's the dopest ever. I don't know, I think it's so cute. And I don't have like everything for a full face, but like we have enough. Also, they gave me these. <laughs> So cute. I'm just excited and again this video is dedicated to my niece because I don't think anybody's more excited about this video than she is like every day She comes to my office or any day. She comes to visit me She's like, yeah, when are you gonna do the glossier video? And I'm like, I don't know I'm always like so busy and honestly like I forget that I have it like it's that bad I'm not perfect Okay, so I have two bags full of stuff and we have I don't think we have like enough for a full face But like we're gonna try the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I don't really know much about this guy, but I do know that it was pricey the house. Glossier is pricey the house, period, but they're known for really good makeup. I don't know, like, I wouldn't even know if it's like good makeup. I know that it's like good for your skin makeup, but I don't know yet. I can't put like my stamp of approval on it just yet because I don't know. I have to try it out first and give you guys like the real tea on it is what I have to do. But they're also like definitely the, the brand like for the girl from Brooklyn who like is hella ethical and like is all about saving the turtles, like has a studio apartment and wear Doc Martens all the time and are always cold and are always wearing oversized shit. And like her favorite movie is books, you know, those bitches. So basically what I'm saying is I'm bitches. Not really, but really. I'm so excited, I really am excited. I know you, you guys can't tell because I took forever to get this video on and poppin', but it's, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. This is again the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Buildable Hydrating Cream. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous about this because I'm already hydrated the house, but I don't like mattifying primers that much because I feel like they're really dehydrating. And as much as I do have combo skin, I have combo leaning almost normal, you guys. I have dry patches and my skin needs hydration. Like, I can't explain it as much as my skin is oily it needs hydration and I always try to take care of it and feed it everything it needs and it's little heart desires it's a struggle being a combo like combo girl but we do make aging our bitch so it's fine people ask me all the time if I had an option to be dry would I take that option and I'm like oh no 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 I will take being oily over anything any time of the week any time of the year any time always ever because we age the best and this feels really good I don't necessarily know what this is supposed to do also this is supposed to be like you can you don't have to use this to prime you can use this just as your daily moisturizer and it's cool so I'm with it we're gonna use this spray it's not technically like a priming spray or a setting spray it's just a soothing face mist it has rose water, it's from Glatier. And this I actually got suckered into buying because you have to wait in line. I know to get into the Glossier store because they don't want a lot of people in there. And also it was packed. There was infinite amount of people there. It made me kind of like intimidated, but also like really excited to try out this brand more. And while you're outside, they kind of give you samples. And this was one of those samples. Like the girl was like, you want me to spritz your face? And I was like, yes, make me moist. And she did. Mm. I forgot how good this feels, but also how good this smells. This smells incredible. I am gonna use a priming spray just because I feel like I should. <coughs> Excuse me. What 
else did I get? I honestly, it's been so long that I kind of forgot. Pretty sure like I got tinted stuff for the face. Okay, so I got a lot. Oh, I got a mascara. I got the boy brow, which I've been so excited to try. Um, I got the Glossier Wouter, and then I got the concealer. So, so at BeautyCon, I actually got I got a couple of Vinalic lippies, and then I also got a lid star glistening eye glow. So we're gonna have fun. I am gonna have to use a lot of my other stuff to kind of implement into this video, but we are just gonna talk about the stuff that we're here to review, which is Glossier. So I got the Perfecting Skin Tint. I got mine in the shade, which I am kind of nervous about this skin tint because one thing I have heard for show for show is this is like supposed to leave you kind of dewy the house. And me and dew, like it's, I don't know what it is. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. The packaging looks like it's like medical, like straight out of a pharmacy. I love that. My skin feels pretty tacky. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go in. Also, we're gonna do something diferente today. We're gonna use a brush to apply our foundation. I know, this is so weird. But technically this isn't a foundation. It's super watery, so I don't wanna use a sponge with it. I'm gonna use a foundation. I'm gonna use this Morphe brocha. And this is gonna be our look today, guys. It's just what's happening. I know I feel weird too guys. I feel weird too. Yeah, look how watery that is. Yeah, son We need we need a brocha. She is so light coverage and keep in mind I'm using a foundation brush you guys foundation brushes don't absorb as much product as a beauty sponge would So this is about as much coverage as you're gonna get period But this is technically a skin tint is what it's called, right? Yeah, the perfecting skin tint so not really meant to give us a lot of coverage. Yo, it's meant to look natural. Oh my god, that's like my skin too. That's such perfect, 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 perfect coverage. I love this, guys. This is my jam. You guys have no idea. Like, I love light coverage. I love my skin to still look like skin because I love skin. I love when I can still see my mole. I love my mole. Like, you guys would not even understand. And when things cover it up, I'm like, bitch, that's mine. I know that's not a, a thing that is very talked about usually, but I love it. See, it's one of those things where you, where you, as you, because you know your skin, can tell there's something there. I promise you, even if I ask my boyfriend right now, who sees me almost all the time as well, if I asked him, hey, do I have anything on my face? He'd probably be like, nah, son. Because it really doesn't look like you have anything on. Your skin just looks a little bit more even, a little bit more perfected. Like, not that you're not already perfect, baby girl, because you are, but you know what I mean. I want to see if you can build this up just for the sake of, hey, can we build this up? Because because I know some people are out there are gonna be like, son, what the f did you do to your face? We will see if we can build it up for you guys because I know a lot of you guys do like more medium full coverage stuff. This one's for you. But honestly, if it were me, I would wear just this and leave. I'm not even joking. I'd throw on some brow gel and be done with it. Like I love, but I love skin and not everybody's like that and I get it. So I'm kind of just stippling it in because the first layer, also the first layer kind of dried up pretty fast, which was pretty cool. And it's not as dewy as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this is two layers versus one layer. Again, one layer looks like I barely have anything on. Also, don't judge my sideburns. Judging is bad for your skin, so. Love you. Okay, this is all I'm gonna do. Again, I just wanted to see if it builds up. It does build up, but does it build up further than this? I don't know, go ask your dad. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we're gonna come back and see how all of this is looking. Personally, I F with it. I just pulled you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see what we're working with. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, while the second layer did add, like for sure, for sure, while the second layer did add like a nice layer and it was seamless and it didn't build up or cake up or anything like that, like it added a nice little layer, it did come with more dew because the first layer I was like, this looks natural, this looks fine, we're good. The, the second layer, I'm like, I feel it, a little tacky. I did my brows and it still hasn't like completely set. It might take a minute to set, I don't know. Or maybe it's just meant to be like a dewier, like for real dewier and I know for sure that it is but I'm just letting you guys know for those of you guys who have combo oily skin or really oily skin this might not be the product for you fam but I actually really like the way it looks I think it looks really natural I think it looks really cute I am gonna go ahead and try out this concealer we're gonna use a concealer to conceal but also to clean up the brows because it is one of those like hot concealers I love pot concealers for under the brows I really do my favorite one by far is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer that comes also in like a dipper I think they're cool this is the glossy a stretch concealer don't know much about I just know that it's expensive it comes in a pot again shout out to Glossier's packaging 
I do have a concealer brush. I'm so excited to use. Ooh, she looks matte. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of looking forward to a matte cream concealer because the foundation was feeling a little dewy. Yo, this cleaned up my brows with a quickness, fam. Damn, that looks super dope. I do have my beauty sponge ready to go for my concealer because I really like using this just to kind of absorb any excess and to leave it nice and blended. Like I said, we are gonna go ahead and apply this concealer to our under eyes as well. I'm not the biggest fan of cream concealers on the face. Like under the brows, I love, but on the face, I'm kind of picky. So we'll see. Dope. I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more concealer again just because I'm a woman and we get darker around our mouths I'm just gonna apply some right here and right here and right here where I have like a little blemish situation going on Oh, okay. The concealer could have a little bit more coverage I'm not gonna lie. I could still see my dark circles peeking through but this isn't a full coverage Glam ho type of brand. It's still natural I'm gonna see just for poops and gigs to see if this builds up, but I'm with it. I love a natural face and it builds up so at least it gives you the option you guys okay I'm gonna go ahead and use my Glossier powder now this is the Glossier Wowder it's a weightless finishing powder it's meant to set makeup I got mine in the shade G8 G10 I don't know if this is meant to control oil or whatever the F whatever it is though I love a setting powder and I've heard really good things about the Wowder actually I don't really like the net situation it has if I'm being honest I think this is kind of like requiring of me to use a brush Oh, she's pretty. That is a pretty, pretty powder. I'm just gonna set my entire face with this. I really hated that I couldn't bake with this powder, but it's a nice powder. It's actually leaving my skin really nice. And about it being weightless, I feel it. I get it. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Glossier Boy Brow, because this is like, honestly, the thing I'm most excited to try out. This one, also expensive. Super aesthetic though, like we love this, right? We love it. Just I've just heard such great things about this and you guys know I love the feathered brow look or like the boy brow. It's my jam. So it comes out like a milky white consistency, but it's, it is drying clear. Just a fair warning for everybody. That's also what she said. Hey. For lips, I have a couple of options, but none that I like. A red and a more red. I don't dig reds, you guys. I really should have gotten a nude when I was there. I really should have. I'm not a fan of these colors. Why don't we swatch them? I'm just not a fan of these colors, you guys. I'm really not. I'm not. This looks like a tampon. It feels like a tampon. But is it a tampon? It is not a tampon. Okay, so this is what she looks like. Oh, you guys, this is such a fall color, but this is not a fall look I'm trying to do right now. She feels cute though. She smells good. It's probably not the color I'm gonna use today, guys. I'm being so honest. With you. So you know what? Let's move on to the eyes. For the eyes, I have the Glistening Eye Glow Lid Star. I got mine in the shade Fawn. This is what she looks like. And this packaging is the sickest, you guys. A medical, laboratory, pharmacy type of dish. She comes with a stylus. Sun, so dope. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of apply this to my face. But here's the thing. I'm gonna do my face real quick and then we'll be back. All right, um, I, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I feel like my skin is getting like really oily. Like I feel it and I don't like it. It doesn't look like it, but I feel it. It's weird. Um, also this concealer creases up like a muh under the eyes. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it under the eyes. For cleaning up the brows, I still really enjoy it. But for right here, I don't think I'm the biggest fan of it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Lid Star real quick. Wait, what's it called? Yeah, Lid Star. Ooh, she's pretty. She's taupey, like a very cool bronze, like a grayish bronze. She's not bad. So that's what we're looking like. Super easy to blend out, super easy to work with, and super easy to build up. I actually really like this. Honestly, the thing that I thought was gonna feel the most greasy in this video is like the maddest. This feels really good. Okay, I like this. I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on another lip option. Last but not least though, we do have mascara to try out. I'm very excited for the mascara. This is the Lash Stick Film Form Mascara. So it says, comb through lashes from root to tip, use warm water when cleaning. It doesn't have any flexes, which I like that. It's just a mascara. We'll see how it, how it do though. She's cute. I like this lash way better than this lash. Like this lash, I feel like I have a, a little falsy on and this one is like, was giving me some trouble. All right.
Okay, so as predicted, this brand is so catering to the no makeup makeup look makeup type of girl. So if you guys are here for the full glam, the full coverage, the wing liner, the dramatic, really crazy makeup looks, I would not spend my money on this brand. But if you guys are like moi and are soft glam little hookers and love the boy type of beat, the natural face, almost editorial type makeup. This is so up your alley. I love most everything that I tried. Like the spray hands down I love. I loved it the instant she sprayed it on my skin. The mascara, it is such a beautiful natural lash mascara. This didn't do anything too crazy but here's the thing guys, for those days where you want a natural look this is so your mascara because it doesn't really look like you have anything on your lashes it just makes them a lot darker y como que te las peina. Like it's separate them it gives you kind of a like a really nice clean perfect lash look and I like that the boy brow is something I also really enjoyed the concealer I do not love for the face I don't think I will ever 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 use this like right here it's creasing a lot um, and I just don't like the way it feels but for under the brow I actually really 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 enjoyed it the skin tint my mistake was building it up not that I regret building it up because I really wanted to show you guys the range like if it could build up but personally just know that when I wear this I'm gonna do one thin layer and that's it because I feel like that gave me enough coverage and it kept me from getting like too oily and too dewy which is what this product is intended for anyway and that was my B like I'm okay with a very light coverage natural type of look anything else the primer I love the primer so much I love it I love this primer it feels so good on the skin I'm gonna use this a lot I just I know it I feel it in my heart Wowder. also another one of those products that I don't think it's like really meant for oily skin but the way it did set everything it looks really pretty i'm actually really curious to see how this powder is going to look with one of my favorite concealers and foundations i don't know i just think it's going to be a really cute and the lid star i think the lid star was one of my favorite things ever but that is definitely it guys i'm so sorry it took me forever to film this video and i know it's not glamorous and i know it's not colorful and i know it's not dramatic I know that and I am so okay with that because this makeup, do I have a booger? It's what I love, it's what I adore, it's what I'm most comfortable in and it's what I know. So it's how I give, you know, the best reviews on my end. So that's it. I just hurt my shoulder. <laughs> Oops.